Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, this is epic. It's 2021. I am Victorious Vegan. They just call me V V. I'm launching my YouTube channel and I'm so, so, so super excited because I have been trying to do this for so long and it's finally here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to share a little bit about me just so you know what you're getting into. You're going to be excited because I'm excited and we're going to go on this journey together, you and me in this whole community of people who just want to do life differently. It's 2021, 2020. Now for me, I know it was a yucky, yucky year in regards to, you know, just losing loved ones in the whole COVID, which is still happening now. But I'm a very optimistic person. I choose to see the glass half full. But listen, it's Victorious Vegan. They just call me Vivi. And I'm here to share a teeny bit about me in this quick video. And then we're gonna go make some food in my kitchen and then we'll just, again, start this journey together. So, a little bit about me. I have been a vegan since 2014, and it has totally changed my life. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, in 2014, I was 54 years old. Um, or 2015, I can't remember. It was either 2014 or 2015 that I started this journey. But I know I was 54 and this year I will be 60. So as of today, I am 59 years old. I'm excited, as you can see, full of energy attributed to this amazing diet. Well, amazing lifestyle. I lived on a standard American diet for 54 years. I loved food, I loved meat, I loved ice cream, I loved cheese, pizza, mostly macaroni. Okay, I don't have to go down the list, but you know what I mean, right? Standard American diet, I didn't know that it meant sad at the time, but that's what it was once I discovered what I was doing to myself. Fast forward, 2014, 2015, I have to get the date right. So in 2014, I'm sticking with 2014. Um, I didn't feel good. It was the summer was coming and oh man, I was overweight. Um, I just didn't feel good. I was having chest pains and I was scared and I didn't tell anybody. I didn't even tell my husband. I am a woman of faith. I love God. I seek his wisdom daily. I follow him and I live for him. So it was, you know, automatic for me to begin to pray. I began to pray every night for like two weeks. I literally, literally thought I was gonna die. It was the scariest time in my life. I was having chest pains and it was only happening at night when I would relax and lay down and or just get in the bed and relax and you know it, it didn't hurt but it was annoying. It didn't hurt bad let me say that enough for me to go to the hospital. It was just speaking to me. My body was trying to tell me something and that's what your body does so don't ignore the signs. It was trying to tell me something and I began to pray. My mother died of heart disease. My dad had stomach cancer. My mother had breast cancer. So, you know, my mother was young. She was 54 when she died. And here I am, 54, right? So I'm scared to death. And so I'm praying and praying for two weeks straight. And I woke up June 18th of 2014. And I got this book called Crazy Sexy Kitchen back in January of that year. And I got it because I was surfing the web one night and you know, cancer came up and of course I was interested because both my parents um, had it, one passed away of it. And so I ordered the book and I liked the title, Crazy Sexy Kitchen. And it was about plant empowered recipes. Like what was that? I just knew that it was about cancer. So I bought it, but guess what? I never looked at it. God's timing. June, I wake up, I get this overwhelming 
overwhelming desire to read the book. It ain't nobody but God. So I go get the book and I read it, y'all, from cover to cover. And that day, radically, I became a vegan. That day, just like that. There was, there was not a um, doubt in my mind that this is what I was supposed to be doing. Did I know what veganism was? Heck no. I had no friends that were vegan, no family members that were vegan. It wasn't a part of my culture. It wasn't a part of my context at all. And so I called my husband and I said, babe, I think God is telling me to be a vegan. I want to feel better. I want to look better. I want to have more energy. I want to, I want to have chest, I don't want to have these chest pains. And he was like, chest pains? So I told him. So anyway, radical. He was so awesome. He was so supportive and still is to this day. It's six years later. I don't regret a second of changing my life. And I'm just so grateful that here I am today. I have a Facebook page, an Instagram page that I've been doing since I started. You can go visit it. It's called Victorious Vegan Gen 129. Gen 129 is short for Genesis 129. Um, go figure. God introduced this diet in the book of Genesis. Like, how did I miss it? I don't know. I just, I'm just glad he showed it to me back in June of 2014. Genesis tells about the diet and the original design and how God created plants um, and fruit and vegetables to heal our bodies, to keep us alive. And so Socrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. What? Like, these are things that we should all know, and I wanted to get this out. So I transformed my life. My lifestyle of eating radically changed. I juiced like crazy. I stopped eating meat. I stopped eating dairy. I stopped eating sugar. I didn't stop the oil then. I, I really dropped oil about a couple of years ago. Um about three years ago completely and lately I've just been doing a little bit here and there but no like it's really not part of my diet I would say 98% of my diet is oil free and everybody started noticing they started noticing my skin they started noticing that I dropped weight questions started coming and people wanted to know and I'm an educator by heart I just got my doctorate de degree in on December 30th, I graduated. It opened a door for me to now fully give my energy and time to Victorious Vegan. It wasn't just for me. Um, it became a passion of mine. I wanted to help as many of my friends and family that I could because of the whole initiation of my search for information about cancer in 2017 to very, very close friends of mine were diagnosed with breast cancer, which fueled me even more to start researching and learning more about how what you eat can heal your body. And I'm happy to say, um, just overjoyed to say that both of them live a whole foods plant-based lifestyle to this day and they are thriving. So that's a little bit about me. Listen, we'll get into more as we get to know each other. I hope you'll ask me questions and I'll answer more questions. But for right now, guess what? I am going to go change and get comfortable. You know, I was trying to be a little cute for this intro video, but I'm gonna change and we're gonna go into Vivi's Kitchen and we're gonna make a few dishes that I love. And we're back real quick. Okay, so I didn't change because you know what? I didn't feel like it. I'm a little messy when I cook, so let's pray we don't get anything on this sweater, but we're just gonna roll our sleeves up and we're gonna make these two amazing dishes. One is a salad and probably the best vegan wrap that you'll ever have. This salad is a kale salad. I've tried so many. Again, it's been almost seven years, right, since I became a vegan. And I've tried so many kale salads, but this salad 
everybody loves it everybody we eat it all the time it's something real quick and it's probably the healthiest life-giving salad that you ever want to eat okay so let's get started we got some kale some organic kale already cleaned and distemmed we have lemon we have garlic now remember earlier I said I'm 98% oil free this salad I tried it without oil and with oil and it tastes better with it so we're gonna make it with some sunflower oil and a bunch of other ingredients that you'll see as we go so we're gonna cut up our garlic and just remember this the stems in the garlic you really should take out because guess what they cause heartburn all right so we got the garlic in there Here's our salad, our kale. Just put the garlic on top. We're gonna cut up a fresh lemon. Squeeze that baby in there. I'm gonna do a whole lemon. A whole lemon is about two tablespoons. So we get our garlic, our fresh lemon. Then we're gonna put our sunflower oil on there. I'm telling you, when you eat this salad, you're gonna be like, where have you been all my life? And then we have some apple cider vinegar, and I'm gonna do about six capfuls. I was in Miami with my girlfriends, and I made this, of course, again. Everybody loves it. Always have you on like little towel hanging on you. So, oh, come on. Now that just fell off, but we're gonna get it. And stop trying to be so cute. We'll put it up there. Then this is Nama Shoyu. This is organic Nama Shoyu, and it's unpasteurized soy sauce. And it's delicious. You can get this off of Amazon. Same amount of capful six. Okay, so we got the Nama Shoyu, we got the apple cider vinegar. Now we're gonna put some hemp hearts on here. A good amount, I would say, I don't measure anything, but this is probably about two tablespoons. Then we're gonna put some nutritional yeast, a good amount of nutritional yeast. You know, this is what has the B12 in it. Look at all these amazing, amazing ingredients. Hemp hearts is a healthy fat. Then we're gonna put in some cayenne pepper. <laughs> Funny story, I made this one time for the first time online and I put way too much of this cayenne pepper, okay? So I like a little bit of heat, so be, be very, very careful so I'm just gonna go just like that boom that's it that's it if you want more just beware then we're gonna put some turmeric and that's probably about I would say a teaspoon of turmeric and then pepper and we want to put the pepper on top of the turmeric because it activates the turmeric and once this baby gets into your body, your body is going to love you. And then this spirulina, oh my gosh, so healthy for you. We're just gonna pour the spirulina. Look at that green, it looks amazing. This is a super, super, super nutritious, delicious kale salad. Now, Guess what we're gonna do? We're going to put our hands in there. So I'm gonna make sure. I did good, y'all. I don't have anything on me. Gonna roll these up a little bit more. We got our cloth ready. We're going to put our hands in here and just massage this kale so we can get all the ingredients in there. And 
just, you know, don't be afraid. Of course, your hands are gonna look like that. But let me tell you something. This salad is the bomb. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And you know, you can add stuff to it. I have in the past. I've added avocados to it. I've put sprouts in it, but I don't do that anymore. It's so good all by itself. It's just so good. So once you massage the ingredients in the kale, then it's done. And it's something about, you know, massaging your food that you kind of eat. So did you see all those ingredients? Every single one of them are amazing. There's healthy fats in here. Um, I'm a person that likes to eat a lot of starch. I eat a lot of potatoes, sweet potatoes, Japanese potatoes, yellow potatoes, red potatoes, but a lot of greens and beans and onions and mushrooms and berries and seeds. Gee bombs. All right, so that is Number one, look at my hands, right? But I'm gonna taste it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. OM Phoebe! It's just amazing. There's nothing like this salad, okay? Okay, so this amazing kale salad is done. And I'm going to put some in a bowl. And again, you can just eat. Now, to be honest with you, I would eat this entire bowl, okay? Like, easy. But I'm gonna be cute, and I'm gonna eat this bowl right here. And again, this is like one of my favorite easy, quick meals. This is ridiculously good. You're gonna love it. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> okay, so we're on to the second recipe. So this is the best vegan wrap ever. Okay, that's my northern draw there, ever. But in the south we say ever, okay? So it is a, this is a spinach wrap, right? And this has, um, very little oil in it, less than 2% of oil. So I was happy about that. And no sugars, so that's good. So we're just gonna drop it in this dry pan for about 30 seconds. Just to give it some heat, let it sit for about 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. We'll go ahead and turn this baby over just to get it a little warm and easy to wrap. I can feel it. Okay, so that's good. See, it's kind of bubbling a little. So once it does that, I know it's good enough. So we'll shut that off, grab it, and bring it back over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this spread. It's cannelli beans and lemon, ju lemon juice, garlic powder, um, nutritional yeast, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and it's delicious. It really is really good. So depending on how much sauce you want or, you know, how wet you want your sandwich or your wrap, you know, you can put it on that way. I like it, I like a lot. <laughs> so we'll put that on. Again, no oil, very healthy here. And again, on wraps, you can put as much as you want, as many items as you want on here. All right, so we got our wrap ready with our sauce on it. Then we're gonna do our lettuce. So we got some arugula. And again, on here, you can put whatever lettuce you want. If you wanna put spinach, you can mix all different kinds of lettuce. So we got arugula, we have romaine, and guess what? These came from my garden. This is red leaf, butter lettuce, green leaf lettuce. Gonna put that in there. And then I have some cilantro that also came from my garden. So you got your greens. Here come your beans. We're gonna put some black beans in here. Super healthy, right? As much as you want. These are drained and rinsed. 
And then we're gonna put some organic corn because I love, love, love corn. And then we're gonna put some red cabbage in here. And all this stuff I keep in the refrigerator when I can prepare it, when I'm very, very um, organized. Plan, prepare, and make it happen. Gonna put some, I'm just gonna throw that in there, the rest of my tomatoes. So one of the things I say at VB is PPM, plan, prepare, make it happen. And I find that when I plan everything out and then I prepare everything, I always, always, always make it happen. So this was a week that I did well on PPM. So let's go back to this. So we got all these ingredients in here. Then we're gonna put yellow peppers and red peppers. I love, love, love red peppers. And then we're also gonna put some orange peppers in here. Let me move this over here. And some cucumbers. We're putting everything in this bowl and some onions, white onions, red onions. I have carrots. So again, you can put as much as you want in your wrap, everything that you like. The one thing that I don't have in here right now, which I love, is mushrooms. So I'm gonna get some mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna get some mushrooms. And some people don't like them really big like that, so I just kind of cut them up so that they're smaller on your sandwich. And then it's easier to wrap as well when they're smaller. Let me move that out of the way. So remember I said earlier, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds, that comes from McDougal. Probably saying that wrong, y'all. Cause there's McDougal, it's not McDougal. Oh man, what's his name? I can't remember, but it's greens, beans, mushrooms, onions, berries, and seeds. If you can get that in your diet every day, that's great. So we'll put the mushrooms in there. And not only do I put the sauce on my wrap, but I also put it in my mix. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. This is really good, y'all. Can eat as much as this as you want because this is fat free. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there. Give it a little kick, just a little bit. Maybe two capfuls. And that's it. All right. And then I'm going to put some of this balsamic vinegar from Rocky Mountain. I got this from Plentiful Kiki. I saw this on her site. I'll put the link below for you. All right, so we got everything in the bowl and we're just going to mix it up. This is kind of a small wrap, so I'm not gonna be able to get all of this in my wrap, but we're going to get as much as we can in this wrap. So we're just gonna put it in our wrap. Yummy. All right, I think that's good, y'all. I think that'll be something I can wrap. You know, I can just make another one, right? I can just make another one. And we'll push this baby up. Get it all in there. There's an art to wrapping. And remember, I warmed this up a little bit. Let's get that carrot. 
right in there. It's kind of seeping out. I'll just lick that. It's going in my mouth. So look at that. It's nice and wrapped. And then we're going to just slice it this way like that. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy for my tummy. Look how gorgeous that is. Whoa, O M B V. Okay, so this is my amazing wrap. Let's try it out. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. So again, you have so much variety in these wraps because you can make them every week, they never get boring. You can just put in whatever you want. Just try to use as many whole food products that you can, like in their whole form. So if you can get away from vegan mayo, that's a good thing by making your own sauces. And again, as we go through, this journey, just come back to my channel. I'll be posting a video once a week on my YouTube page, but you can always visit my Facebook page, my Instagram page, because I'm cooking all week. I make things all week, um, so I'll post things on there, but for sure, on my YouTube page, I'll be posting a video every week, and over these seven years, I've even created my own VB recipes, and I wanna share those with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for visiting my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? And share this with as many people as you know that want to change their lifestyle about eating food to feel better, to look better, even baby steps, even baby steps. All right, so that's it, my victorious ones. Thank you for coming by the first time to Victorious Vegans channel. I'm so excited you came. I'm so looking forward to how much fun we're gonna have as we journey and navigate through this life in 2021 and all the things that it's gonna bring. But it's a new start, right? It's a new year. Make the changes, make your mind up. Get in your mind that you're not going to enter 2021 the way you left 2020. It's gonna be better, it's gonna be greater. It's gonna be more victorious, right? So victorious living and we're just gonna do this thing together. So please remember, hit the subscribe button, okay? Be one of my subs. I would love to have you come along with me. And again, this is Victorious Vegan.